everybody. Oh my goodness, so good to be with you today, um, August 16th. It's the anniversary of Elvis's death, just so you know. <laughs> Fun wow. fact today, but <laughs> I love being together and we have so much good stuff to talk about. I want to talk about beach money. I want to talk about, um, you know, the, the incentive that's going on and also about this call with Camilla Eves that I sent out. Camilla is a four wide MVP in Canada. She's the highest income earner in Canada. And um, I sent you a call. She's also the keynote speaker for the conference that's coming up, virtual conference, September. Uh, is it September 10? Is that when it starts? Anyway, I sent out the um, registration link in Voxer and stuff. Um, so that's definitely, I think it's 20 hours of free training and you can go in and listen whenever. Um, I think it was, correct me, you know, if you know more, but I think it was $68 or something to register. Let me just look real quick so I get the, get the right information here. Um, let's see here. I think you're right, Tammy. Was it 68? 68 or $69. Um, yes. Uh, so anyway, she is the keynote speaker. So I wanted to kind of entice you for that. Oh yeah, $68 US um, for over 20 hours of training. And it starts um, September 10 and goes through September 12. Watch live or on demand, connect on chat with consultants around the world and discover new ways of selling with a holistic view and a mind, body, skin approach. I love it. So anyway, she, Camilla is the keynote speaker. So it's just to kind of wet, wet your appetite for that. She didn't, there's so much of her story she didn't tell. So um, this interview, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same, you know, as her keynote. And like, like we were just talking about Richard Brooks, he does a podcast called Network Marketing Heroes, which I listened to for, for a couple of years, and I don't know why I got away from it. I kind of want to go back and listen again after hearing this one with Camilla Scott, because he digs in um, with, the, with the, you know, highly successful network marketers and just, just really digs into what they did to build in their first, you know, 90 days in their first year that really launched their business and got them in momentum and basically what their life philosophy is and what was running through their head. And Camilla's story was cool because she, she needed the business, but she had a lot of ego that she was also working with. And, and it just made me think too, how, you know, that's everyone. <laughs> that's actually one of the biggest obstacles, I believe just starting the business is people don't want to be associated with one of those things. I mean, that was me. I'm like, I'm a nurse, you know, and that's cute for you, but mm, you know, I'm not doing a thing. Like, what are you talking about? Like I did, I had, and it wasn't even that I even knew what she was saying. I, I was saying no before I knew anything. It's kind of like when you, you know, walk into a, walk into a store and the, and the person says, you know, can I help you? What are you shopping for? And you're like, ah, just looking. And that's how most people are. We're just like, ah, don't push on me, you know? <laughs> and, and I don't want that until I know what that is, right? Um, so, uh, so yeah, it was interesting how she worked through her ego and, um, and just her philosophy of betting on herself. I think that was something that um, she said right at the end that was key you know i think we get defeated sometimes by listening to what other people say or what other what are people gonna think or you know what does my spouse think or whatever you know what are the neighbors or whatever you know this didn't work for my sister so how how is it going to work for me and we were constantly bombarded with all of these um things that challenge <laughs> our vision and stuff and i love that she basically at the end of the day just bet on herself and believed in herself and um, how, how powerful that is really, you know, to just say, okay, no matter what, I'm just going to do it. I love to though. Okay. So I'm a story person. I like hearing stories and word pictures and just being able to see it in my mind. But I also appreciate the numbers that um, Richard Bliss Brooks puts on the table of what exactly it takes to get your business launched off the ground. Um, and, and it's kind of massive, you know, and I think that's what we miss when we're just dilly-dallying. I hate to say that, or dabbling, 
or working Arbonne in the nooks and crannies. Honestly, you can work Arbonne in the nooks and crannies, but if you want to launch it, you just have to have a focused, concentrated effort, you know? Um, and that's with anything, with any business, even if you were in college or whatever, you, you have to go to class, you have to take the tests, you have to do the homework, you have to commit, you know, some time to whatever endeavor, you know, you're, you're taking on. And so same with Arbonne, you can't, you can do Arbonne in your own time, but, but it just takes some concentrated focus to get your business off the ground. And I think for, for us, all of us in our team, I think for all of us, that's where we are. We're, we're pre-launch. <laughs> we're like just about, <laughs> you know, to get into momentum. And so he, I, I heard this in Arbonne actually at a, at a GTC one time by G Sheila Green. She said, you know, the, the easiest way I can explain this is sponsor a hundred people and find 12 business builders. Boom. <laughs> and it's like, oh, <laughs> and that's what Richard is saying is, you know, for, for typically for all the top leaders across the board in every network marketing company that's been around, he, he um, primarily talks to legacy companies. So companies who have stood the test of time, um, across the board, the leaders are sponsoring a hundred people personally in their first 10, in their first two years. Okay, so did you hear that? A hundred people personally in their first two years. Out of those hundred people for Camilla, she had four business builders. Those four, you know, true business builders. I'm saying they're doing everything that she's doing or more. Um, and, and so she is a four wide MVP because of sponsoring a hundred people personally in those first two years. So think about that, you know, what wow <laughs> and it happened within four years so 48 months in the first 24 months she sponsored 100 people she found four business builders just like herself um and and then went on to mentor and coach them and help them she sponsored less she said in 10 years she sponsored less than 200 people personally over 10 years but in the first two years it was that compressed amount of sponsoring that she did in a focused amount of time. And I love how uh, Richard Brooks talked about that. Like, you know, it's kind of like thinking of an airplane. Um, you know, it takes, you have 5,000 feet of runway and how much emotional runway do we have? You know, do you have seven years of emotional runway to dabble, you know, with this business and to, you know, have to always explain yourself to your family for not, you know, yeah, I'm still doing this. I'm not really making a whole lot, you know, um, how much emotional runway do you have to do this? Whereas, you know, if you, if you just like, uh, compress the, <laughs> the activity, um, into a smaller amount of time, you can really get lift off. And so think about this to break down a hundred sponsors in, even in two years time, that's actually, um, if you did five, you know, per personally sponsored five people a month, that's 60 in one year. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even that outrageous. <laughs> that's five a month, 60 in a year. Um, I, you know, I, I, would, I would say with Zoom events and Facebook parties, we could probably do even better than that. And that's something that I'm, you know, stepping up my own game. Uh, to to look at like oh my gosh we have this huge gift i know you know with the ftc everything that kind of at least threw me in a little like whoa okay everything that i've always said my little routine you know that i've always done my presentation is different now i have to like learn a new thing new no, learn a new way of sharing arbon but i'm willing and that's actually something i'm working on side note is getting my why story in a you know seven to ten minute video you know why story an overview of arbon and then also a, a 30 day video and also uh you know and it might it might be 30 day with a discover together that we could share as a team um and then i'd love help i, I don't know if someone i feel like someone could do it better than me maybe sherry or Lindsay or mia <laughs> if you if i would love like a little and just think about it, you know, how a, a getting started video. So here's a brand new consultant that we've started, 
you know, and it is, it's like, holy cow, you know, where do you start? Yes, we have our getting started checklist. I would recommend going to Cecilia's um, website right now, um, stolenation.com, and then the password is opportunity. Um, and just, just use her tools right now because we're updating ours and it's all going to be the same, but we're just in transition. So, you know, to prevent confusion, just go to Stole Nation. I actually even suggested to Kathy and Carol that we just ditch our own website and go with Cecilia's. That's what a lot of her leaders do anyway. Um, so anyway, blah, blah. Just use her right now while we're kind of transitioning. Um, but, but just to make it so streamlined, like here's, here's a little a little video to catch your interest do you want to hear more here's a you know a 30 minute video to learn actually more details you're ready to get started here's the getting started video to walk you through your getting started checklist kind of a thing and um i don't know i would love that for our team you know just to have those three um videos to just get out um and and to get to the right amount of people okay I did take notes. I got to get back to my notes. I'm getting all excited <laughs> and I have so much I want to um, unpack. But um, the, the reason I actually was looking up this call with Richard Brooks was um, I was remembering how he said the best prospects that we have are the people who've already said no to us. And I just think that's such an interesting concept because we often like shy away from the people that have said no to us or ridiculed us or not given us the time of day, ghosted us, whatever. Or even people who've been to a presentation, they've seen a Facebook party, they never responded. Hmm. <laughs> Those are still good people to go back to. And I think about that, you know, um, because for the most part, that's like our whole team are people who initially were like, eh, you know, not, not for me, but then, you know, they just came back around. Um, and, and again, it's just that whole, they just need more time to process. And, um, you know, obviously that was Camilla too. She was introduced to Arbonne and she was a hard no. She actually thought that the girl, she's an actress. And so she thought the girl who invited her to take a look at Arbonne was asking her to promote the brand. Like, like you know, she would get a contract to be a spokesperson for the brand as an actress. And she was like mortified when she went through an Arbonne presentation instead. And she felt sorry for this lady and was embarrassed and like, no, I'll never do this. And what happened to you? You're a successful, um, Amy Skye sponsored her. She's a su successful songwriter, singer, you know, artist and everything. Very successful actually. And, uh, she was just mortified and embarrassed. Um, but she used the product love the product, saw a noticeable difference in her, in her skin. Her husband noticed, her husband said, Amy Sky is one of the smartest people you know, that we both know she's, she's intelligent. She owns businesses. She's highly successful. Like she, if she's doing this, you need to take a look. And I just want to pause there. You guys, people are watching us. They're watching how we treat them after they say no. Are we just going to never talk to them again? Are we going to be weird and only want to talk about Arbonne, <laughs> you know, or are we just going to love on people where they're at and say, you know, I totally understand. I didn't, I wasn't into this either, but you know what? It surprised me. I love just throwing that out there. You know what? I, this, this was not anything I was interested in either, but it surprised me. And then they're like, oh, wait, you know, it just leaves the door open a little bit. Um, um, I love that, Tammy. I think that's like, so that's so true. You know, it's just, I feel like in my own business, I'm just at a really like uh, a weird place because I have all these consultants and I can't get any of them to want to do this business. And I just don't know where to go from here. And, you know, getting out there to find new ones seems so, so hard. You know, I was so proud of myself for getting these people. And then I just can't, I can't motivate them to do anything and, and, you know, maybe someday they'll come around, but it's like, we hear so much, you know, you, you just have to move on. You have to move on and they'll either, you know, see what's happening and, and want a piece of the action and get involved down the road or, or they won't. But, you know, when you said sponsoring that many people, I'm assuming that means just 
coming in to, you know, coming in under our network, whether it's a client or not. Right. right? And then maybe right. if you said a few of those over the time, we'll all turn into business builders, right? We'll decide to be consultants and work the biz, not just clients buying the product. Right. 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 Yeah, but I, I do love this because I think back to all the different parties I've had and people that have inter been interested, they showed up, you know, whether virtually or in person and they're kind of lingering in the background. And, and I love that you say that, like, don't forget about them. Don't, don't not go back to them because, you know, they're, they're still there. I mean, think about it. Things change in people's lives all the time, you know, and right now, oh my goodness, things are shifting in people's lives like crazy. And yeah, this might not be something that they ever thought. I mean, most of us, this isn't our why, right? This isn't, our bond isn't our <laughs> end point. It's the vehicle that can take us to our end point. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's what we have to, you know, um, portray too, is this is a lifestyle that fits my uh, values, you know, what I value. Um, and it's a way for me to, you know, create this life that I desire. You know, it's not, it's not the end point, it's the way. <laughs> so um, just to, just to put that out there too. Um, I love, yeah, I love that people are watching our lifestyle, you know, not, not only, you know, our personality and everything and how we treat them, but they're watching, you know, are you being authentic? to what you're saying, you know, do your actions match your words? Because again, at the end of the day, and this was so beautifully brought up by Camilla, people don't remember the information. Like we get all obsessed about, and I do too, obsessed about our presentation and how we're saying things and how we're wording things. But people don't remember what you say. They remember how you made them feel. Every time, every time. I mean, think about that. You know, what you don't remember <laughs> exact, you know, words that were said. You remember how someone makes you feel. And so, um, yeah, it's just so important to remember that people are watching us. And I've had so many people actually just recently reach out to me. I think I talked to my friend Siobhan, oh my goodness, five or more years ago about the business when we used to work together. And she reached out to me and she's like, I've watched you. I've been watching you and I'm ready to try this. And it was just like, wow, you know, what a compliment. Um, I had another friend who, who works at the hospital. She's a doctor and she has other people, coworkers who do Arbon. And she reached out to me and she's like, I want to, you know, do the 30 days with you. And I said, well, why wouldn't you just go with a coworker? She goes, well, you actually live it. Wow. You guys, that's huge, right? Um, I have another friend that I'm talking to right now. I have an appointment tomorrow with her. Um, she, I, I know I asked her to look at Arbonne in 2013 when I was just launching my own business and treating it like a business. Um, and she was in the middle of infertility treatments and now she's already had her babies and stuff. And now she's reaching out. Tammy, I've been watching you. And I'm looking for a way to homeschool and create extra income. And, you know, I'm 40 whatever years old now. I got to get healthy. And it's just like, oh, this is so cool, you know, that people are watching us. Um, I know we want things right now. So keep moving. Don't wait. <laughs> but, but just know that people are watching. And um, people buy into you first before the products, before the story, before the business, before anything. They're buying into us and who we are. Um, and so with that being said too, you know, not being intimidated or afraid to share our journey, you know, we're, we're put in this position to have influence. Um, and, and that's really what this business is all about is, is influencing people. You know, it's like influencing marketing, right? <laughs> we're influencing people to take a look at what we're doing and, um, you know, just being mindful be a person that's excited and passionate that someone wants to join and be 
you know, be part of their world and stuff. And so take them on the journey. Like, Hey, I'm just starting this 30 days or, Hey, I, you know, I'm just getting my business off the ground, but it's, and it's scary. And I'm, I've had disappointments, but I'm going to keep going. And this is what I read in my personal growth book this morning. And this is inspiration for me. And I don't know if anyone else has felt defeated, you know, but I'm going to choose to keep going. And you know what I mean? Like just instead of just the highlight reel, just, you know, take people on a journey. That's something that I'm learning. And I, I honestly feel is so attractive. Um, so she, so to speak on what you were just saying, Lindsay, um, Camilla was pretty, <laughs> again, she was an ego person and <laughs> she, she swore she would never do parties. She was determined to build a business doing one-on-ones, but after a month she ran out of people. And as we know, to the easiest, most efficient way to get out of our own network and get into other people's networks is to ask other people to host and to do parties, whatever that looks like, group gatherings, events, um, Zooms and Facebook parties right now for us. Um, and and she, <laughs> she, she didn't love doing those, but she, she her, her self-talk was always, I want people to have fun. I want people to feel good. I want to put Arbonne in the best light. I want people to want more. You know what I mean? So that was her energy. It's just, you know, even though she didn't love doing group presentations and she was pretty open about that. <laughs> she, she was just like, I would sit in my car before going in and just saying, okay, I just want these people to have fun. I just want these people to have fun. <laughs> and, and I think that's great because sometimes we're too like rigid or trying to be perfect or whatever. You know, we're too much in our head. And, and it is, if we're asking for people's time, we want to, again, make them walk away feeling happy and feeling good that they tuned in and, you know, they had fun. So I'm learning that with these Facebook parties too. You know, the games kind of seem a little cheesy to me, but it helps people have fun, you know? So I'm into it, whatever, whatever. Um, so again, you know, just booking our calendar, I think for me, that's been a big aha, you know, cause that's what I did. You know, I'm, I'm essentially relaunching myself right now as we do every month, but I'm just like being really intentional right now. and again, when I first made a decision in March, it was the end of March of 2013 to do this as a business, that was my first action was to fill my calendar. And I booked 10 parties and it was agonizing, honestly, because I'm, I, I just remember like, oh, <laughs> like it was hard. It was hard to ask people. It was hard, but I had my mindset, like I have to have 10 things on my calendar. And again, that's been kind of, you know, a training and underlying just wisdom in Arbonne is to always have 10 things on your calendar at all times. And if you don't, that's your first order of business is to hustle and get that done. Um, I was thinking about that too, just priorities every month. That needs to be the first few days of the month. Every month is just booking those 10 rolling events, meaning once, once they're done, you're going to keep filling those spaces. But, but just to put your energy into scheduling, you know, and then you're, then you're putting energy into presenting and sponsoring, right? And following up, but, but just to put that initial energy into scheduling so you have things on your calendar. And for me, oh my goodness, it has not, I'm right there with you. I don't know how you feel about the 30 day hard, but I started out really strong and then I was like, oh, because <laughs> I was kidding. I was just, um, I, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's like you think your business needs to look a certain way. You think your day needs to look a certain way. You need, you think your reach outs and responses to the reach outs are going to look a certain way. And when they don't, <laughs> it, like, it like puts you in a little funk. I don't know. I, I'm just laughing at myself because I'm so human right now, like trying to book my calendar. I'm like, oh my gosh, dear me, why, you know, why are, why are people so like opposed or they don't write you or I'm having this great conversation and then I ask them if they'd be open to hosting a Facebook party and it's like whoop crickets. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And so then I'll send them some other stuff, get off Arbonne and they respond. But then I'll say it's Arbonne and then it's like whoop. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so anyway, I want you to know 
right now on August 16, I have three things on my calendar. It's driving me crazy because I'm so determined to have 10 and relaunch myself and get, so, so that is, that's my top priority is to get those spaces on my calendar filled. My other, you know, aha for me was um, scheduling time because I've been sort of like, well, I'll just, you know, work it in. But then, you know, someone needs something or I get a phone call and then I'm on the phone for an hour, this or that. And I, I, I let that scheduled time go, you know what I mean? And then I'm scrambling at nine o'clock at night to do my reach outs and all that stuff, which is fine, but it's just, oh. So I've committed to between the hours of two and 6 p.m. That's when I'm working my business. That's when I, you know, I've, I've just had to be more conscientious and intentional about it because I'm learning my own habits of giving up my business work time for family, for, you know, whoever is needing something of me, you know, and, and again, it's in, ultimately it's a sign of not respecting myself and not respecting my business. And it's like when we respect our business, the people around us will respect it too. And so, and, and it's like, I know that, but I'm like living it right now. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really make, being intentional about um, respecting, respecting my time, my business and um, having a boundary around that schedule of, you know, I, I have to do these certain things today um, to get my business going. Um, so I was thinking about that, you know, like what, what stops us? I think, you know, rejection stops us, right? <laughs> Ego, um, you know, maybe feeling like it's not worth it because we're not making the income that we want to. Um, maybe, yeah, what gets in the way of, of, you know, keeping us going full force? Yeah, that our calendar isn't full, that we're not committed enough to fill it. Um, lack of respect, lack of setting a schedule, lack of belief in network marketing, lack of belief in ourselves, not plugging in, not following a system, not being coachable, lack of accountability. I was thinking all the things that have stopped me over the years and it's, it's everything. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's still me. It's my business. I'm the consultant that needs to launch myself and re-sponsor myself every day. We have all the tools. We have all the trainings. We have everything in front of us. And, and here's what motivates me. Oh, I think about, yes, where I want to be. And, and that's fun to think about. But you know what motivates me? Is thinking about being in the same place New Year's Eve. Or being in the same place in my business next August. That like bugs the heck out of me. <laughs> I'm like, no. Because again, I feel like it's selfish to hold back this amazing gift. I know there's so many lives that need to be changed and people who are praying for this. And yeah, it is. It's just a matter of getting through the nose. And, you know, I think of Ashley Strong um, saying that she had over a thousand no's, but she's still talking to people. Like she had over a thousand no's to get to MVP, but she's still talking to those no's. She's still converting those no's into prospects and or into PCs and client into PCs and ICs and everything too. So she hasn't like just dropped them. <laughs> she kept track of them. She's actually keeps them in a book and everything and, and um, gets back to them. So that, and, and that, that was the beautiful message in uh, Richard Brooks training with Camilla too, is he brought up Zig Ziglar said it the best that we get everything we want in life and in our business when we help other people get what they want. And that does, that makes me soften and just remember that even though I'm getting ghosted and people are like weird for some reason, whenever I bring up Arvon, that it's still worth it because I know this is a winning lottery ticket for the person who's ready to open it. You know, um, I know how much this has changed my life and I just, I can't. I can't stop sharing it. Um, so we, do, we often overestimate what can be done in a year. And I think that's when we get disappointed because we should, we should be further. We should all over ourselves. You know, I should be in this place, you know, but, but we talked about that, you know, the last call that even, even though I've done the work that doesn't entitle you to anything, it just makes you better. 
So, so I think again, for so many people in this business, we, we have that mentality of, well, I've done this and this and this, I should be further, but we overestimate what can be done in one year. We underestimate, vastly underestimate what our business will look like in five years. And, um, again, for Camilla, think about that. She's personally sponsored a hundred people her first two years. By year four, she was the top, and she still is, the top income earner in Arbonne in Canada. I mean, whoa. You guys, there's really, I think about what's the difference between me and Camilla. It's just, she was willing, you know? Am I willing to be a little uncomfortable? Am I willing to just get mad and like, you know, like I don't, I, I refuse to be in the same place New Year's Eve. I refuse to have a business that I, I feel could have, you know, been better, or I refuse to think that there's still people out there praying for this that I, I haven't reached out to, or, oh my goodness, people that I've thought of and then haven't reached out to for whatever reason, and then they end up joining another company. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I've had that a lot lately too, and it just, Oh, like it just is a great reminder. Like people are looking for this. It's just our business is our mouths. So we have to get the word out. Um, and that's all it is, you know, not get on this emotional roller coaster with how people respond. Our job is just to present and just keep reaching out. That's what we can control. We can control the 10 events on our calendar every month. We can't control who's going to do what or who's going to sign up or who's going to join us or who's going to get the vision or who's going to order. We can't control any of that, but we can control what's on our calendar and our calendar reflects our commitment. And, and that's everything. That's everything. If we want to be in a different place, we have to do, our calendar has to look different. Um, so that's my commitment to myself is to book those 10 events. Um, and I'm like, Oh, I'm so determined, <laughs> but I'm so excited too. Cause I'm meeting with some really quality people and, um, have some Facebook parties and just had someone sign up yesterday for the 30 day who I think is going to be a business builder. And it's like, it's exciting cause it's starting, but I'm in this like relaunch I, I, and I'm being very vulnerable and honest. Cause I just want you to know that everyone has the opportunity to relaunch themselves anytime. So if you're not where you want to be relaunch, go through your hundred person list again figure out your 21 reasons why and get really deep and clear on those. You know, if, if I want to earn more money, okay, why, why, why go deeper? You know, why, why do you want more? Why are you part of our bond and get clear on that? Um, you know, again, just book your calendar, go back through the getting started checklist. So over and over and over, re keep relaunching yourselves until you're really clear on how to relaunch some, or how to launch a new person as well. That's how we learn is just doing. Um, I, I love too that um, our, something that, you know, has been in my heart for a long time is you know, the, the title of our nation is Courageous Nation. And Sherry pointed it out one day that courage is action. And I was like, wow, you know, because there's lots of definitions for courage, but they brought it up again in this um, call with Camilla. She says, um, we learn courage by doing. We learn courage by doing. And I just thought, wow, that, that is so true. You know, I think so often people don't step out in courage because yeah, sometimes you get beat up. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes there's disappointments. We get rejection. We feel vulnerable because we're learning. Um, you know, we don't have all the answers. We don't do things perfect. We don't know how to answer someone's objection. Ugh, we stumbled through a presentation or, or nobody ordered or whatever. We beat ourselves up, but you know, that just the act of doing, we're learning courage. And I just, I guess that's the ultimate is that I want to instill in our team is just to keep getting up over and over and having courage to try again and start again and become more and learn and just have one win a day. Think about, because again, with this like 
30 day hard. I was setting myself up to fail. I was feeling like, okay, I didn't check my whole checklist today. Like, oh dear, I'm behind. I, uh, you know, and, and it's like, no, <laughs> what, what did I do well? What can I do <laughs> tomorrow? What, you know, what did go right? What is the win of the day? What can I celebrate? Because, you know, that's what this is. This is, school to be an entrepreneur this is school and you guys i want to be a millionaire but you know what brings tears to my eyes is i want 25 people on our team to be millionaires i want you know like that's what i want i want the whole stadium at g2c to be your team mia and a whole nother stadium at g2c to be your team lindsay you know, that's what would make me happy, not to sit there and say, oh, this is my team. No, I want it for you. Like, that's what gives me goosebumps and tears right now is, you know, this, this opportunity that we have to change people's lives that we haven't even met yet. You know, our business, our, my personal business is not in other countries right now, but it will be. I know it will be. I know it's going to change lives in Poland and Canada and the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Um, just because, just because I'm deciding to take courage right now and book my calendar <laughs> with 10 events <laughs> and get through all these people who keep avoiding me. <laughs> so, um, um, it's worth it. It's worth it. You know, it's so beautiful to hear, um, Camilla's just life shift story. I mean, she was like beating herself up in this career that was kind of, you know, dead ending for her as an actor because she was aging and acting isn't nice to people aging. And she was taking 60% pay cut. Um, and then she, you know, built like crazy, put her ego aside for two years. Another two years, she coached and mentored people. And now she's the top income earner in Canada and she's traveling around, you know, basically doing speaking engagements and rallying teams and doing work for Arbonne. And they just asked her to be a speaker in Fiji. And she's like, I can't believe this is my life. And she's taking her kid to Guatemala to help do some kind of, you know, charity work there and teaching her son these values, you know, of giving back and, and how people with nothing can still be happy you know, and find things to be happy about. Like we don't need stuff to make us happy. And she goes, you can't even believe the kind of values that being in this company has taught my kid, you know? So it is, there's so much to this business that's worth it. And just keeping that in mind um, keeps you going. And then I just have that fight in me. Like <laughs> I am so determined <laughs> to make 2020 matter. There's so many people who have struggled through this or who are still struggling through this year. And I'm so determined to make a difference. I'm so determined to be the solution for the economy. And I know that sounds crazy, but I, I believe we have it. I believe we have it. People are shopping online more than ever. People want to be healthy. People are, are praying for some way to have some cushion, a plan B in their life. Um, and so I know we have it. We have it for them. I just have to get through all these people <laughs> who, <laughs> who don't have the same values as me right now. And it's okay. I'm still going to love them and be sweet to them. Carl's always amazed. He's like, I would just unfriend that person. I'm like, no, I'm not going to unfriend them because they get a little snarky with me or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. Everyone's struggling. Everyone's, you know what I mean? Doing the best they can. And I really honestly believe that. They just don't know. They don't know what I'm offering. That's why they're closed. They're afraid, you know? Um, and so me showing, me unfriending them doesn't, that just fits into their narrative. That's not the truth. You know, they'll be like, see? <laughs> but me being kind and going back and being fun and, you know, offering, offering, they're gonna, I believe, I believe that's the way to have a heart shift is just showing up and being kind and, and being honest and, not shying away from our commitment. So, um, wow, I just shared a lot. I want to hear from you. Like, what did you get from that? And um, have you listened to Camilla's talk, Lindsay? You need to, because you guys are similar personalities. <laughs> you would love her. <laughs> oh my God, no, I haven't yet, but it's on my, my thing today um, to do, for sure. And you're inspiring me on some of the follow-ups I feel like I want to have today or just reach out as an output of this, but no, it's definitely on my, definitely on my, my, uh, my list for today. 
And so what, what are you willing to commit to today? I'm committing to, so we can all have a commitment today. Well, I definitely want to reach out to a couple of people that I had some success with um, at my last parties. Uh, you know, all of this has been so inspiring to like regroup with them because a lot of them were running off to August vacations and were super interested and, you know, wanted to dive in and I sent them all more information and they, you know, they, they told me that they wanted to digest it and were running off to vacation. So that's where their heads were at at the time. So in my mind, it's like a great, a great day to kind of, die, you know, reach back out to them, check in with them, see how they're doing. Um, you know, but also just thinking about who's my, who's my next event with, you know, who's going to be next on my schedule? What does that look like? And so I'm sitting here taking in all you're saying and trying to brainstorm, you know, where, where do I fill up my calendar, you know, with next. Mm -hmm. And keeping in mind that the people you're asking to host may not be the people who join your business, but someone that they know, because even exactly. Exactly. It was so cool hearing Linda Parker say that one of her NVPs was someone so that who wasn't even at her party. She had a party. It was a dud. Like people were mean to her, heckled her. One lady bought a hand cream. That was it. Like that was the whole party. And Linda was like, ah. <laughs> you know, like I just put all this time and, you know, drove and whatever. Um, Cecilia, her upline, said, go back, follow up with everyone who came to that party. So call every single person and, you know, just ask them if they have any questions, if they'd want to like learn more about the makeup or the business or whatever, do a coffee appointment. Blah. When she followed up, even though she didn't want to, people weren't even nice to her. <laughs> when she followed up, one of those hecklers said, actually, my sister is interested. I gave her the hand cream or something. And um, my sister said, that sister ended up coming into the business. She wasn't even at the party. It was just one of the hecklers who told the sister. So, <laughs> and she's one of her like direct NVPs now. Like, think about that. So just like, we have to get over ourselves, you know, because the people that we're talking to may not be the ones who join our business, but it's their network. It's like, we just have to get the word out and do our job of booking our calendar. That's it. Just put the blinders on, book your calendar, get in front of people <laughs> and the right people are going to be there. The right people are praying for this, you know, but often it's not the people that we're connected to first line. That's so, that's so true. And you know what? It even reminds me of just randomly being out with a group of people last Saturday night for dinner in town. And I ran into another kind of long-term acquaintance of mine and she was like, she said to me, hey, I've been watching you and I've been meaning to reach out. I want to talk to you about Arvon. Oh, and so I mean, I'm sure it's more about the products, less about the business, but you never know. But it was, I was like, oh my gosh, you know that those things, those little things come out of the blue every now and then. And you get those little signs that people are actually taking in what you're sharing. And, you know, these little stories I do or little posts I do, you know, people are, people are paying attention. You know, it's just like you said, they get caught up in their lives. Everybody's going through something. And then it just, you know, it's like when the time is right they're they remember and they're ready to reach out. Something, and I'm just throwing this out there. You're an independent consultant, so you can do this however you want, but we have this build for more deal. I'm like, how can I work this to my advantage <laughs> to book my calendar? So you can use it as a host reward, like, you know, say that you, you put in a hundred, cause I'm willing to do a hundred dollars of products if I really want someone to host, you know? So what if you put a hundred dollars towards the build for more, they get, they get $400 of products for whatever, whatever it is, 180 or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. That's crazy host rewards. But if it's someone good, I am willing <laughs> to put that out there as, as, you know, a way. So for this person, figure out what she wants, what she's interested in. And you, you know, you can use this build for more to your advantage as well. See if she'll host like, this is what you want. Okay. Here's how we can get you a good deal. <laughs> you know, let's wheel and deal. <laughs> so just an idea, you don't, again, everybody, you know, has their own budget and, but, but I'm just saying, I'm willing for the really good people. If that's going to tip 
their, you know, tip them to get them uh, to make a decision and to get me in front of their people, it's worth it. Because again, I just look back at the way I built my business. I was driving five hours to do a presentation. I would drive from Northern Michigan to South Ohio, to Cincinnati. I think I drove eight hours for, or 12 hours. I, I went to Tennessee for another one after the Cincinnati party. I was driving all over the place, just thinking, what am I doing? Is this what people did? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but so see, I'm saving gas money by just <laughs> getting people to host Facebook parties, you know? it is an investment, but to get that board of directors, like a really good quality, you know, 12 business builders, like that is worth so much to me. Um, so anyway, that, that's the way I'm thinking now, because I, I am so determined to book my calendar and I'm going to use this build for more <laughs> to my advantage to get hosts. So just putting it out there. Um, also, I think it's so cool um, what Cecilia stole. Our company is amazing, first of all, um, because we are so big on wanting to give back and, and be the company that gives back the most. And the NVPs have really, you know, uh, been championing the cause of human trafficking, ending human trafficking. And Cecilia actually put out there that she wants as a company or as her team or whatever, she has a personal goal to raise a million dollars to put towards the Underground Railroad um, organization with Tim Ballard, who's like amazing. I watched one of his documentaries and holy cow, he's an amazing person doing amazing things. He left his very lucrative job to, um, you know, as a law enforcement for the government or whatever. And now he's just basically I mean, and he's a dad, I think he has seven kids or something, but he has such a huge heart for ending, you know, human trafficking. He basically put his whole life and career, everything on the line to save kids. And he's, he's doing amazing work. So anyway, you could use that as another, you know, um, way to, to say, you know what, whatever, 10% of this party is going to go towards this charity or this, whatever, whatever is important to that host or that person or you, or, you know, that's another way to just, again, align with people's values, get to what, what lights them up. It's just another way to present what we're doing. Um, and I think it's cool. I would encourage you to, to share the post I put out and just see, see if other people want to contribute. Um, just make your post public and then um, if you don't make it public, then only our mutual friends will see it. So it, I don't know if you knew that, but make it public and then other people can see it outside of, you know, our mutual friends and stuff. So um, plus I ordered a shirt. I ordered a shirt for Carl and stuff too. It's fun to have our bond swag, <laughs> you know, and then also 100% of the proceeds go towards this $1 million goal. So anyway, I, I just think it's a cool thing, a cool mission to have, but we could also weave that into asking people to host and okay, so say you're not 100% on board with Arbonne, what charity are you on board with? Because I can help contribute to that and we can bring awareness to that in our Facebook party as well, you know? So whatever, I'm, I'm like willing to, to just figure this out with, you know, I'm looking for good quality people with influence. I'm looking for people who would be amazing leaders in Arbonne and make the company better. That's what I'm looking for. And so if you're finding these people and they're kind of blowing you off, figure out what lights them up. What, what, is, what is their value? And you know, we, can, we can find a way <laughs> to, to um, you know, make this happen. So, um, yeah, so my commitment again is to continue working on filling my calendar to 10. Um, I have, oh, I know I can do it. <laughs> it's like driving me crazy. <laughs> but I know too, I have a surgery coming up September 4th. So I'm, I am just on a mission to get these events rolling. So I have the momentum, you know, I can do Facebook parties recovering. I can do this stuff. Um, 
I, I also am on a mission to create these videos that we can share and send out because again, I'm thinking ahead, like I know I'm going to be incapacitated. I'm not going to be able to talk really, you know, I'll be drugged <laughs> for a little bit after the surgery. So that's something I want to use, you know, while I'm down to continue to, to keep the momentum going and also for the team. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what I'm committed to is working, working on videos and content and also um, booking my calendar to 10. So how about, how about you, Mia? What are you committed to? Well, yeah, me too. Um, uh, video, working on the videos, working on my presentation because I felt like my first Facebook party, my presentation was awful, but it didn't stop me. I thought, okay, this is a learning experience. You know, I just have to get more prepared and more organized to get the message out there the way that I want to get it out there. Um, I've reached out to several people as well. And I almost forget, like I have to look back and be like, wait, who didn't answer me? There's a ton of people that didn't answer me, which blows my mind. I'm like, what are so people so afraid of? You know, um, I have this one girl in particular who's my client and you know, anything that has to do with her hair and hair appointments. It's like, she's right there answering anything Arbon, It's like crickets. And she's actually laughed when I asked her to do this business. She goes, I'm not going to do that. And you know what? I think she's going to do it one day. I really do. Because so, I, I'm hearing in my head is Carol Bodell. She, cause I've said this exact same thing to her. Like she laughed at me and Carol will come back and just with her smile and twinkling eyes and say, may I ask why? Yeah. May I ask why? Right, right. <laughs> Well, you know, I happen to know. This, you're going. Yeah, I happen to know this girl has her eye on a house that's five hundred thousand dollars, and she's a single mom. She works for Sotheby's, and she praises her company all the time on Facebook. You know what an amazing company, and blah blah blah. And I'm thinking, is your company going to make you uh, able to afford that house that you want as a single mom? Is what you're doing now for in the next five years going to bring you what you want? Because if the answer is no, then you need something else. But I'm, I'm just kind of working on her a little bit and, and other people. But um, yeah, so my, my thing today is just to work on my presentation. I have a couple parties coming up this week. Yay, awesome. And, yeah. And so, yeah, that's my goal is to work on that and to, to read more of my beach money while I work on my tan this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> and, and make booking with you very enticing in the yeah. party. You know, like maybe one of the products that people were commenting a lot on, like, uh, you know, box of fizzies right now for the first person who books with me, you know, oh, or whatever. Good. Yeah. But make, make booking like the, so think about it again, our three priorities for every event that we do is one, what's number one? So what was the question again? Sorry. Our three, three priorities for any event we do. What's number one? Uh, Sponsoring, finding a business builder, yes, finding a business builder, mm -hmm. and and basically, I'm willing at any cost, <laughs> like I'm ready. <laughs> um, two is to book another presentation from it, and three is the sale. So think about it in that order. I'm looking for a business builder who's who's like bringing the energy to the group, who's you know asking the most questions, who's like fun and exciting that that's my key person I want as a business builder because I can tell they're already like engaging and good with people and stuff two is I want to book something from it from everything because even if there's zero sales I have another party you know I have something on my calendar and then three is the sales and sales will come they will they'll come they'll come we just have to keep moving you know and not get obsessed about it <laughs> so yeah so do something enticing to book another event in your Facebook party. Like whatever you have to do, razzle and dazzle them. <laughs> yeah. It's a learning process, right? I it mean, is, it is, it is. I'm right there with you. Cause I'm like kind of blah, just learning a different way of doing Arbonne. It's the same, but it's a different, you know, different script kind of a thing. So, um, and just, yeah, just trying not to like be afraid. I want my heart to still shine without being in my head, like thinking about the words, you know what I mean? Like, can I say this? Am I supposed to? Am I, you know, it's like I'm policing myself all the time. Um, so just trying to get back to that where I can just share my heart and, and be genuine and authentic. Um, 
anyway, I hope that comes through. I, I'm determined it's going to come through on my video. So <laughs> I'm determined. <laughs> um, it's when people say no, because I'm like, it doesn't take anything. All you have to do is invite people like, you know, for a host. And just say that. Oh my gosh. May I ask why? Yeah. No, I have one girl say, say well, well, I'm out of town to or whatever, you know? Okay. Yeah. No problem. What about September? I mean, but they don't even really have to be there, you know, exactly. for the live. Watch it any time. Mm -hmm. It's like a no-brainer for me. And so that's what it is. A, a no is just you have to answer some of their objections. Mm -hmm. They just you know? don't. Because they, yeah, they probably have in their mind a whole different scenario. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I had somebody tell me, well, you know what? No, because I'm really happy with my skincare products right now. Well, it's not about you and your skincare products. I need to know who you know, you know? And that's not all we have. You know, but sometimes I get stumped when people give me an answer like that. I'm like, okay, but where do I go yeah, from there? Yeah, and, and that's fine. I mean, we have makeup. I might just pivot to makeup at that point. You know, I don't know. Do you need some? Yeah. Or, how, or how's your skin under that mask? <laughs> Mine's breaking out, frankly, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so maybe you need some, you know, a little more intense mask work. <laughs> are you guys doing different themes for parties like because I have one who told me she's got a, a she's working on her gut she's been to the doctors trying oh. to get an acid so I'm going to make it about the healthy living mm -hmm. so we could I, do different yeah for sure I would just I think that poll at the beginning is so good you know to just kind of get the feel of your audience okay yeah Okay. Because, yeah, maybe there's a lot. And I think too, this is another thing that I've learned is work with your host um, to, to basically edify you and edify what they love about Arbonne, or maybe they haven't used anything, but they, they are intrigued by the philosophy of Arbonne, of cruelty-free and gut health and the mind-body-skin connection or whatever it is, whatever it is that's making them want to host for you, have them speak to their people because they're like, you know, their people don't know you. <laughs> so they need to like warm up their people for you, you know, by saying, you know, generally, like if you were in a living room, they would say, and this is how I know Mia and we used to work together. And I've seen, you know, she's just so happy <laughs> with using Arbonne and she can't stop talking about it. So I finally just decided to host to get her off my back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But just right. have them say something and then people will laugh. But she says, really, I have, you know, watched Mia and, you know, this is something I want to check out and do. And it seems like a great company. And, you know, I'm excited that you guys are here to check it out too. Whatever. They don't even have to be on board, but just have them like share, you know, um, for me, I did this legging party for this other girl who's going to host for me too. And I, I got the leggings and I tried them and I'm like, you know what? These are like way better than Lululemon. And that's what I said in the group. Like, you know what? I do have more confidence wearing these to the gym now. And, you know, I, I'm like helping her promote. So you want your host to do the same, you know, like, gosh, I use this this mascara sample that Mia gave me and and it is really nice like I've never had mascara that didn't irritate my eyes like whatever whatever it is or gosh Mia said that this plan could really help my digestive issues that I've had for years and I'm really excited to you know hear more and learn more thanks for being here you know just whatever it is have them speak as well and I think that'll you know, you want your host to partner with you to help you promote what you have here you know to their friends I think that'll be key to help, you know, get the engagement up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just something, <laughs> something I'm learning too. <laughs> so it's not like us talking at people that we don't know, you know what I mean? Like the host is kind of our um, warm up crowd or warm up act <laughs> to get people interested. Oh my goodness. Well, I, here we are. It's a little after 10. Um, I'm so grateful. Thank you for jumping on. I know you guys have a lot to do and I hope this was inspiring and yes, I'm committed and let's text each other today and see how we're doing tonight. Okay. <laughs> good. Thank um, you love you, of course. And yes, let's keep reading Beach Money. It's great. And um, listen to that recording. And I would even, I'm putting it on the table, but if you have a business builder in mind that you really, really want to take a look at this, you could send that Camilla Eves recording to them. I think it's fantastic for like a prospecting 
take a peek, you know, into what this business has to offer and what it takes. You know, we, we want people who um, have a work ethic. We're not here to hype anything. We're here to, you know, be real and look for people who really want, you know, this, this amazing opportunity. Um, so anyway, consider that as well um, to share that Camilla recording. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, I love you. I'm so glad you're here and let's do this. Let's just uh, relaunch ourselves today. <laughs> I'm ready. Me too. I oh, love you. Because um, 